hello so in this video i actually want to show you guys a planner haul basically i found these markers at five below um and it has like a small side and they were five dollars So it has a normal tip and a chiseled. So I want to test it out first and see how they're going to look. Let's just highlight. Oh, that's pretty. It's very bright. But it goes on this theology. And now let's try it in the back of... This one. And it goes this too. So, yeah, definitely we have to use these with like on a different paper, which is fine by me. So I got these colors and also these. So skin tones and grays, and then this one says the same thing. I don't know why. saw these I thought the colors were very pretty so yeah and they come with drawing prompts in the back so in the back it says recreate a memory that brings you joy create a piece as you play your favorite songs create an image of yourself as your spirit animal show the different sides of you in one image and create a bouquet of flowers with each flower representing your friends and family Next, I'm going to show you my budget planner. I found this at Walmart. Um, and I want to be able to track my spending and like my bills. So it comes with three stickers and then it has a savings tracker. Um, so that's good. And it has several pages of savings. Debt tracker. step tracker I keep forgetting to turn on the light and bill tracker so this will be like all the bills and the amount paid and it's due and checking off the month January it has a pocket for receipts a blank page and then it has a monthly checklist a finance goals income, budget, actuals, total savings, expenses, and total income. And then for here, it says, um, mortgage, rent, insurance, maintenance, water, electricity, gas, phone, TV, internet, groceries, dining out, insurance, medical, medicine, car payment, insurance, fuel, Uber, taxi, clothing, personal care, sports and gym. Um, and they give you enough space to write add on personal student loans, credit card debts, events and hobbies. And then a section for other. And it has the monthly overview and the next expense tracker. This is mostly what I will be using. And also, um, I want to my other will be like bingo um because i do play bingo and then i don't really manage the household um bills because steven does that so yeah but i do um manage just personals and my credit cards 
And then for February says, the plans as a work change to plan, but never the goal. March is just that one. April, make things happen. May, that one. June, the skills pay the bills. July, let's do this. September, October, work safe travel repeat. November, keep calm and save money. So, yeah, I'm gonna see if this works out for me. I am so bad at budgeting, but I wanna start, you know, tracking. So, I think this will come in handy. Um, next is what I got at TJ Maxx yesterday. So I got this book called Self Meditation, 3,299 uh, tips, quotes, reminders, and wake up calls for peace and serenity by Barbara Ann Kiefer. This is the last one. So how I'm going to be using it is in the mornings or at nights. Um, I will just randomly flip a page and the first quote mindfulness is knowing what is happening while it is happening no matter what it is and then i'll just write the date and highlight it that way if i flip to that page again i'll go to the next one so that's how i'm going to be using this next is this planner that i also found at tj maxx and i thought it was so cute so it has the yearly overview then it has goals and it has friends, family, romance, health, school, growth, spirituality, finances, community, living environment, fun, recreation, and other. And it actually has a section for books, read, places to go, things to do, and other. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how I'm going to be using this planner yet. It also has a spending log. But I think this is going to be... Um, my fitness um and then it has a little section for draw your day which is really cute and then the first couple pages are the monthlies and then in the back is where the weeklies are so these are the weeklies as you can see it started this week so it has a water tracker task goals and it has a rate your day um, which I liked and then yeah and it shows like all the all the holidays um, and it says like where it's observed and then on the back has 2024 overview also has a few note pages lines a grid I mean squared and dotted so one page has dotted one, the back has squared which I like a blank notes and then more lines and it came with stickers And this is from Orange Circle Studio, and this was only $5.99. So I saw it, and I was like, oh, let me try it out as a, you know, as, like, my fitness, maybe. We'll see. Then, for monthly, I got the Ray Dunn 2022 Planner, and this was only, also, again, $5.99. Um, I'm going to be using this as my content planner. I love how the pages are really thick and everything's really big. So I will write out like, you know, um, video projects and because I've never done this before. I usually just mark down in my bullet journal, like, you know, content and stuff like that. But this will be nice to kind of plan out, you know, like this is when my TBR goes up. Um, this will be the day my bullet journal goes up and stuff like that can kind of break apart my videos um but yeah this is nice and it has a full year and then in the back there's actually like perforated notes that you can just you know 
fold in and take off. And then it has only one page of notes, which is fine. And then it has a pocket in the back. So that's everything I got that's planner related. Um, we'll see. I, I've never, I've tried to do multiple planners and it's never worked out for me, but I really want to try again this year. So yeah. Um, let me know what if you're using multiple planners in the comments down below. And don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the flip side. Peace.